Hello everyone, my name is Harsh and if you are watching this video, most probably which means you are joining me in this journey of application development. So as we discussed, we are going to create an AI chatbot as well as image creator as well as multi-language translator application in this course and we are going to use ChatGPT APIs for this purpose so for now we have nothing to do with ChatGPT APIs initially we will design the UI of this application so before designing the UI of the application we need to create a project so we are going to create a custom flutter project in this video now uh, these are some packages that I have installed in my VS Code editor. So if you wish, you can install them. One of them is Code Spell Shaker. Okay, so ye mujhe spelling suggestions provide karta hai. As well as another one is Dart and Flutter. And there is JSON Formatter. If you can ignore this one and Kotlin one too. Uh, you can try this material icon theme. Okay, so it will give an icon to the folders. And finally this version lens and I will show the demonstration of this in the future videos so you can install if you wish okay now to create a project you can click on this settings icon or else you can simply press ctrl shift and P and you will see there are multiple options so you can search flutter new project simply like this okay so flutter and simply new project and you can see there are multiple options that flutter gave to us okay there is something called as application and something new called as empty application okay so in this project there are no comments and stuff so if you wish you can follow this one but I'm just going to use this application because it's my kuch comments show assets ke liye hoti hai, which is a bit helpful to me okay so I'm just going to click on this application now it will suggest me to select a folder so wherever it is located in my case it is flutter projects so simply open it up and after that I'm just gonna click on this settings so I can manage some things from here like I can manage the package name beginning okay so it's com.hushrajproit you can use anything you like as well as I can select the default uh, Android language which is Kotlin in this case it's okay iOS language uh, something called as offline mode we can ignore this and something called as platforms so you can select whichever platform you want to build for so I'm mainly focusing on Android and iOS so I have just selected these two platforms if you want to build for any another platform you can select those two or if you wish we can select even web one too and we can just click on this ok and after that back and we can give a name to our application so I will be naming this application as AI assistant and simply hit enter and flutter will start creating the project for you and as you can see the project is ready to run if you wish you can just simply press f5 to run the project in your emulator or as well as in your real device for now i am not going to run this project i will be doing some initial setup like first i will go to pubsec.yml and remove all these unnecessary comments so as you can see I have removed the comments okay and I have written a description and AI assistant and some long description app based on chat GPT developed by Hershech Rajproit so you can mention your own name it's good you write descriptions for the application and after that simply here app version dependencies and it goes on now if you create an empty project now in that case you won't see these comments but actually I won't comment for this section so that's why I haven't created an empty project so now moving to our main dot dart you can see there is a hell lot of code here so for now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna remove all this below code okay and I'm just interested in void main class for now and after that simply here what I'm gonna do is I will create a class simply type st so I am going to create a stateless widget and which will be my app okay and after that it will be calling material app here so material app and inside this for now as a home okay I'm just gonna use a scaffold and I can just simply place a text inside it so body and simply text and which can be hello everyone now if you wish you can run the application by simply pressing f5 and one more thing that i want to let you know there is something called as uncaught exceptions here actually 
uh, what this does is whenever uh, the application throws an exception which is not handled it will struck the ui and it will show some play pause buttons here okay so actually i don't like it uh, whenever an error occurs i simply want it prints in the debug console and doesn't show or doesn't freeze the ui so for that purpose i'm just going to uncheck it okay so for a better development experience i'm just unchecking it if you wish you can keep it as it is so as you can see the application is up and running and the name is on the top here simply hello world so with this we successfully run the very basic application and that's it which means we have successfully done the necessary setup for this course okay and now one last thing uh, i'm just publishing the codes of this application on my github so you can follow with me okay or if you are interested in some specific codes you can just simply go to my github repository which is located simply i think here you can just search my name or if you wish you can just go to this url okay and as you can see in these repositories there will be another repository added just right now ai assistant currently it is showing html this is just because we have more html codes in our project has compared to dart codes okay because we have added web here so as we write more dart codes that html will be gone so that's it for this video see you in the upcoming videos till then bye bye